Okay, so just we were uh, in the discussion of the Hadoop distributed file system, MapReduce one and uh, uh, R. So these things, friends. So basically, uh, these kind of aspects are uh, helping us in the batch processing. And of course, there are a uh, few aspects we have seen as a part of the MapReduce also. Okay, so uh, the MapReduce is a parallel programming model. So where uh, it is uh, uh, providing us certain uh, aspects. Okay, there we have seen uh, uh, different uh, phases of the map reduce. Uh, let me uh, recap. Uh, uh, first, I will introduce which are all the objectives of the today's session. Uh, we will see the an architecture. This is the first aspect. Second thing is uh, Hive introduction. Next is uh, Hive launching. And thereafter we'll see Hive tables, uh, both internal and uh, external. <laughs> In Hive query language. So within this uh, Hive query language, we'll see the concept of the partitions, concept of the bucketing, and some sort of uh, functions. Okay, so this is the flow of uh, today's session. Uh, and of course, before going to Hive architecture, Hive introduction, all these things, uh, let me give you a quick recap on what we have seen earlier. So we uh, started with uh, Hadoop. Okay, of course, uh, which is the combination of uh, Hadoop distributed file system and as well as MapReduce. In terms of HDFS, okay, this is a distributed storage. And this one is a parallel programming model. This is a parallel programming model. And uh, if you are referencing the storage kind of thing, again, uh, this HDFS is available in two flavors, HDFS 1, HDFS 2. Here also we are having MapReduce 1, MapReduce 2. We are consolidating. We are connecting the dots, friends, now. So, in case in terms of HDFS one, we are having the support of the name node, data node, secondary name node. Okay. Whereas if I am talking about the MapReduce one, job tracker, and task tracker. Uh, coming to the problems related to this uh, HDFS one is a single point of failure. And here uh, job tracker overburden. OK, job tracker overburden. So in HDFS two. OK, uh, these remain same name node. But your name node becomes uh, active name node and uh, passive name node. Uh, and of course, uh, one more important point is uh, secondary name node is uh, optional. It's not mandatory. Secondary name node is optional. So HDFS2 solves the single point of failure. OK, so this uh, we observed and coming to uh, the second aspect, if I'm talking about the map reduce to uh, job tracker war button uh, so that they came up with some analogy. Uh, resource manager. And. Uh, task manager. On top of this, uh, we are having a cluster management tool. Cluster resource management actually. So cluster resource management 
which is nothing but the iron architecture. Okay, so uh, there we have seen uh, uh, some sort of application supported by air. Okay, not only uh, map reduce, it is allowing some uh, various aspects, high scope, <coughs> and then uh, spark, storm, like some set of the tools can be managed with the help of the air. So uh, today our discussion is this thing only. And earlier to that point, uh, one more uh, important aspect I want to specify here. Uh, our map reduce phase is actually. So four phases uh, we have taken. Uh, first is the input split phase. There, whatever the data I'm having, the data will be split into the rows. Second thing is the map phase. Next is the shuffle phase. And last one is the reduce phase. Now this split phase is uh, nothing but uh, um, the framework activity. You need not worry about that. Framework will take care about uh, the split phase. Whereas if you are talking about the map phase, uh, map phase is uh, developer activity. And because he has to specify uh, how I am going to split the <coughs> appropriate input data into key and value pair. So uh, in case of the map reduce guys, uh, your data must be converted into the key value pairs. <coughs> in case of the shuffle phase, of course, this is also the framework activity. And finally, the reduce phase again, developer activity. OK, so these four aspects we have seen. And most importantly, the third thing. Which is uh, Python based. Uh, a map reduce job submission. Okay. So in this case, let me give you the prerequisite. We need to have a Hadoop uh, streaming dot jar. Uh, this particular file, jar file, we need to have. This is the first requirement. Second requirement is uh, I should have some my input file or input data. <coughs> so this might be either file or direct reference. Uh, latest we have seen this uh, concept also in the earlier uh, session. And I should have the uh, mapper file, mapper.py. And I should mention the uh, reducer.py. And thereafter, we have to specify the output directory name. Output directory name. Now let us run the command. What is the command uh, we should use to so as to submit our Python job? So in the Hadoop cluster uh, command prompt, web shell. Just we started with uh, Hadoop jar. Okay, as mentioned earlier, we are having the predefined jar Hadoop streaming 3.2.2. jar. And thereafter, continuation, we should specify iPhone files uh, mapper.py reducer.py. This is one thing. Uh, after these files, uh, just you have to mention your mapper information, which is the name of the file, uh, reducer, reducer, mapper, reducer, and uh, of course, guys, input. Uh, we have taken some purchases data, purchases. Output maybe give the reference of this thing py mr1. Okay, just you need to enter this automatically. This uh, uh, your after submission of the job 
ARN is going to launch and it is going to connect with the resource manager. Accordingly, it uh, runs the code. Uh, those points we have observed. And however, after completion of the ARN architecture, again, I will show you uh, how these particular uh, history server resource uh, manager, though we have seen, but again, uh, after completion of the architecture, it, it is easy for us uh, to understand the uh, specifications. This is one thing. And uh, coming to the other aspect, Java based uh, MR submission. So uh, in this case, friends, uh, we are having two options. Uh, the first option is uh, maybe Java developers will give us the source code. So the source code contains the uh, mapper class, reducer class, driver class. Okay, mapper, reducer, and driver class. Now, what you need to do is, uh, uh, however, in the Eclipse, that also we have seen, we are having some project. Within that project, I am having the package information. Within that package information, we are having the class information. Now, what should we do? We should uh, select the uh, file menu, or else directly you can uh, uh, right click on the project. And you can make use of the export selection. And within that export, what you can do is just to mention the path of the file home slash. Uh, that time we have seen cloud error slash mr1.jar. Okay, this is a standard procedure, friends. Once you got the information from uh, Java developers, mapper, reducer, and driver class, just you need to go to this uh, whatever the editor, NetBeans or Eclipse or whichever the editor. But uh, you have to generate this uh, map reduce one dot jar or whichever the jar file, whichever the name you want to give. This is the process. Okay, once you generate this uh, mr one dot jar, just simply the submission. Uh, here the pre-requirements are. Let me write down those things. Here the prerequisites are. First thing is uh, uh, user defined jar. In the earlier Python based, there is no jar kind of thing. But here, just now we have created the jar file, user defined jar file. Then uh, simply we need to know the package name. Of course, we we can uh, pick up the name from the source data package name. A driver class name already we have seen public class, whichever the public class mentioned in the code, that is a driver class name. And of course, uh, input uh, folder or file, whichever. If you want to input only a single file, then that you can do. Otherwise, you can give the entire directory also. And next aspect is uh, your uh, output directory. OK, now let us uh, submit the job. So just I can make use of Hadoop. Zar file. Uh, we just now we have created this uh, MR one dot jar. OK, and uh, of course, this is a uh, user defined one which is containing the entire information. Next, I should give the package name. Maybe, for example, com dot sample. This is the package name I have given in the code and then driver class name. Maybe I can give this uh, word count. Package name dot driver class name. Then I should mention the input. I need not mention uh, the reference of the input label or something. Just what I can do is uh, just you can make use of uh, uh, Directory name. So here also, uh, file on directory name, purchases. Output you can specify. Okay, here uh, Java MR1. Okay, so this is the way how you can uh, submit your uh, Java based uh, kind of the job. Uh, both we cannot say, you know, guys, because uh, Hadoop entire thing and uh, default map reduce flow of the Hadoop is Java. But now, People are using Python based uh, kind of the coding and sometimes we may, we may get the uh, source from the Python also. So in that case, uh, accordingly, the user can uh, make use of these conventions to submit the jobs. OK, so and moreover, uh, a third uh, one more option I uh, would have seen friends in the uh, especially Java orientation. 
if we directly get if we directly get dot jar file from the java team from the java team so now uh, if this is the case assume that i am having mr2 dot jar but i don't know whether uh, uh, because though i got this uh, mr2 dot jar but but one more important thing is uh, just i have to specify i should find out what is the my package name and what is my driver class name okay na driver class name so here what you can specify is uh, for this particular purpose we have seen one command okay so there i am having unzip iphan l mr2 dot jar this is something like uh, unzipping the appropriate jar file because you know guys uh, jar file is something java archival which is a combination of all the uh, uh, files and as well as the packages which we are having so it uh, it specifies some kind of the information uh, maybe my uh, mapper one dot class something like that reducer one dot class and of course uh, here we we may get the package information also com dot sample dot some word count like that whichever the details i am having inside my jar file whatever the jar jar file supplied by our uh, java team with the help of this unzipping of ifnl uh, we will be getting these kind of the considerations so simply what you can do is after getting these things now you can submit the jar see hadoop jar what is the jar file supplied by java team mr2.jar once we get this information as usual package name from the unzip just we got the package name i can make use of this uh, Old count by input uh, whatever the input you want purchases output so uh, Java MR so this is the way how you can uh, submit uh, your job information related to uh, Java jar file okay so uh, these things we we have seen guys just as a recap and definitely. These points are pretty helpful to us in the understanding of the ARN architecture. Okay, so uh, with this, uh, just we are uh, making use of uh, the convention, and uh, we are ready to uh, jump into the uh, ARN architecture. So let me pick up that particular diagram. What exactly uh, ARN is uh, saying to us? Uh, because this particular uh, uh, study helps us until the Spark learning. Because more or less uh, uh, these terminologies, whatever the terms we are using, uh, in another way, uh, our uh, uh, Spark is also making use of these conventions. And as I said, uh, on top of this uh, ARN only, uh, we are going to run uh, our Spark jobs. Okay, rather than um, observing uh, the appropriate considerations uh, into uh, other orientation, just uh, Mesos is one where. Uh, at the time of Spark design, they thought of uh, using that as a cluster management tool. Uh, but it is a, uh, not uh, that much response to that uh, Mesos. But uh, people already habituated to make use of this uh, ARN. Uh, as Hadoop projects were there much in 2012, 13, 14 and 15 years. So ARN become a standard uh, cluster management tool kind of thing. So what they have done is uh, just they make use of uh, that ARN on top of that particular ARN. Okay, here the flexibility is like this on top of this ARN. Either you can run your uh, MapReduce 2 or Storm, Steamy kind of thing or Spark. Okay, whatever. Okay, whichever the aspects I want to run, I can run those kind of things. So it is always uh, important to understand uh, how this particular ARN is uh, uh, helping uh, the developers. Okay, so as to submit the corresponding jobs. Okay, now you will see the more high level view of uh, uh, how ARN and uh, MR2 are operating the uh, job submissions. Okay, 
uh, now starting with this uh, history uh, job history server if you remember guys uh, in the cloudera manager uh, okay option we are having add in bracket just a uh, mentioned mr2 included okay after clicking this thing just to, you need, you can reach to um, the add uh, the web page and within this we are having the user interface web user interface there we are having two options one is the resource manager second is the job history server okay now we were talking about the job history server job history server is nothing but uh, um, uh, all the job submissions all the activities uh, which are all there uh, in in our uh, uh, i mean mr mr2 maybe with the help of the python or java whichever the means just you can uh, see this uh, uh, with the job history server let's let me do one thing so that i can connect uh, you can also uh, see the orientation already we have seen uh, but uh, still just let me share the screen guys just a minute so because these are all the things whenever you are uh, uh, whenever you ask it to interact with the aws or azure or whichever the means gcp also these palettes remain same okay so i am clicking this uh, already is there in a cloud era manager i can simply give this uh, username and password uh, uh, this thing guys actually this uh, cloud era manager and all um, uh, all these uh, uh, whatever the tools we are having no matter whether that is a hadoop ecosystem or uh, spark all these kind of the conventions we have seen and moreover there are certain hosts actually so host uh, multiple hosts are there uh, that name no data node remains same and these things are uh, uh, pretty clear for us okay which are all the aspects we have seen uh, our interest is uh, related to this uh, ad if you click on that kind of thing we're having a complete support of uh, this particular tool as i said this is a job history server node manager resource manager and as all the hosts so your resource manager uh, is only master kind of thing that's what it is only one only one master is there na, generally node manager of course uh, uh, yeah, the general consideration friends uh, according to our uh, data nodes how many data nodes i am having equivalent to those data nodes will be having the node managers okay so this is uh, one important uh, point we have to observe so resource manager and node manager or belongs to the map reduce to just now we have seen the services uh, related to the map reduce to uh, why they came up with this uh, resource manager and node manager is uh, uh, in case of map reduce one everything should be taken care by uh, that you know this uh, everything is taken care by uh, your master so the job tracker everything in the sense uh, job scheduling cluster management splitting of the jobs monitoring of the tasks everything so which is very uh, overburden to the job tracker guys so as to avoid that convention they uh, took the decision of uh, separating the resource management and uh, this uh, job uh, monitoring so as a result uh, we got this arn as a separate uh, entry and related to this arn we they have included the mr2 mr2 of course uh, built on top of this resource manager and node manager your arn is okay supporting with the job history server okay if you see this thing and now again this web user interface this is also not new for us and if you uh, click on this uh, history server web ui it is not uh, activating so that time i said okay whatever the way you are interacting just you need to pick up this uh, login server and up to this uh, port information because this port information is common so where you can uh, specify uh, the appropriate uh, things just you can manage these conventions and paste the server information okay paste the server information and, and see now now we are going to establish uh, some kind of the connection okay from uh, our uh, cluster related to the uh, web user interface of the history server okay job history server 
Now earlier uh, I ran some of the things, friends. Big data, big data mind one. These are all my jobs only. Just I have submitted. Maybe some of the people. Okay, so from other uh, uh, other companies or somewhere because as I said, this is a distributed uh, thing, and some guys uh, they they are submitting this log analyzer, streaming jobs, all these things. We're coming back, coming to our uh, uh, submission. OK, so if you see this uh, thing um, in the job history server, uh, only completed jobs would be there and how many map and how many reduced tasks, all these things. Uh, here, if you click on this map tasks, OK, to, so as to run this uh, kind of thing, how many map tasks were there and uh, how it got executed. Coming to the reduced tasks, we may be having some log files also. OK, which providing which is providing some kind of the information. OK, so with respect to these things, we may not uh, directly get the information, but uh, with the log file information. OK, just this logs give. Uh, if you remember friends, uh, after submission of the job in uh, web shell uh, command prompt, maybe that is uh, Python or Java kind of the job, just we'll be getting the job information actually. OK, whatever the name. Uh, given to that particular job and uh, all these kind of the considerations. Of course, this is of course this is the hive job. I should I have submitted, but uh, uh, no matter whether I'm using the hive or pig Latin or map reduce. Ultimately, any job should be converted into the map reduce job. OK, that I will I'll reveal that particular point in a while. So more or less all these kind of the considerations are same. So they are accessing the Hadoop distributed file system and all these uh, file system counters, map reduce framework, uh, all all these whether they get succeeded or not that information. Suppose if any problem is there while running the job, then uh, uh, the Hadoop admin can come back and uh, see uh, what has gone wrong. Maybe the user attempting uh, uh, the same kind of the output directory, which is not allowed. Okay, if the input is not there, which he has specified in the command prompt. Just it instructs us, it warns us. Okay, and here is the full log. Okay, just complete information out and out. Uh, whether we need to see whether we are having the permission or not, because this full log gives the entire information related to your uh, entire aspects. Okay, so addition in addition to that, uh, uh, how it is getting the updated configuration, how the uh, add child is activated. Okay, these kind of things. Uh, my strong recommendation is guys uh, just let me uh, paste these things in the chat. So just to see that uh, the terminological aspects are not uh, completely. So just if you observe the terminological aspects, uh, so you can also uh, get however we are dealing with uh, these terms in a while. Uh, but internally the, there is a strong connect actually. If I'm talking about the Hadoop uh, ecosystem and all these kind of the considerations. It is giving us uh, the narration of okay, as usual how we are working with uh, uh, how we are understanding the things in the same way. Just I am making use of uh, these observations. OK, so and uh, these things we know uh, all these kind of the considerations, whatever the uh, options we have uh, seen in the earlier thing. Uh, the same kind of the considerations, OK, whatever the job submissions. That's what I, I recommend you uh, in a way. So how we are uh, uh, making the difference between uh, job, uh, job submission of the Python and job submission of the Java, OK? Because in those two cases also, uh, if you want to understand uh, which is the optimized and uh, how we can uh, refer. And at the outset, in a most high level view, uh, because this entire uh, uh, Hadoop is written in on top of Java. So generally there are certain advantages even uh, in case of the combiners and as well as the partitions there we studied about that point actually. OK, this is one thing and uh, coming to the other option your status uh, if you are checking this and if you click on the resource manager now we are going to talk about that here also. Just I need to go and uh, select this thing where we are interacting with the server. And uh, this you don't have the direct access so that we specify the SSH login server. Now we are trying to get the resource manager information. 
So history, uh, job history server is something like already completed job information and currently which are all the jobs running. Uh, here you can easily observe guys uh, the accepted jobs, of course, running jobs. We have not submitted any jobs, so we may not get any uh, information. Maybe somewhere, uh, OK, so uh, SR Labs or some people, they submitted this Spark job. Now, if, if I want to give you the convention, let me show you. Uh, suppose if I am submitting my job, how it is reflecting in the application. OK, so um, immediately, friend, this ad is a monitoring resource management tool. Na? Resource management tool, uh, uh, immediately it is uh, reflecting that one. So be with me, guys. Big data, mind one, and big data, lab. So what I want to do is uh, I want to submit my map is 5 dots or no matter the Java with the, with the help of the Java. So for that, uh, I have uh, given a command uh, ng by well map reduce uh, five dots are i got this information com dot example dot uh, word, word count uh, class let me clear the screen and again uh, run this thing uh, now you see how do jar file name is uh, map reduce five dot uh, jar hmm. next i have to give the package name dot class name com dot example dot what is my class name word count okay now what I'm giving here guys, uh, maybe earlier uh, in that case, I should uh, open one more uh, web shell. OK, I want to see uh, the possible input to give. Number of web shells you can give friends. There is no restriction on that. You can open a uh, uh, number of web shells. So big data mind one that is our username and uh, password I'm giving. Just I can make use of uh, Hadoop FS siphon LS. Because uh, our input must be in the HDF, it's not in the local file system. So I want to give the DE uh, folder. Let me see which are all the files I'm having. DE slash. So within this particular folder, I'm having the app install, HDFS 100, HDFS 2, HDFS source, and sales information. OK, some bigger files are there, some reasonably OK uh, files are there. OK, so whatever the means I want, I can. So just what I'm doing here is uh, I'm specifying this input as DE and output I'm mentioning as uh, Java. Uh, uh, MR sales. OK, like that I want to give. So such simple narration guys. In case of the Python, maybe there is a distinction um uh, because in python you know there we need to explicitly mention the mapper and uh, reducer class information okay but here uh, see immediately if you observe this is launching the iron application and uh, this uh, uh, proxy is connecting to the resource manager actually if you observe the proxy setting guys uh, uh, probably the aws guys and all you might be knowing uh, if i am working with the uh, remote uh, method invocation. Suppose I am connecting with the client and uh, uh, this client is uh, connecting with some other uh, uh, server. OK, maybe maybe located somewhere US or UK. What I am doing here is just uh, I want to establish a kind of the communication, some message passing and all those things. So oh, uh, we need to see the running applications only completed our application. No, no problem. Again, we'll give I, I thought of showing this uh, convention to you after submission of this job. Uh, but however, uh, you know, uh, there is no running application now in terms of uh, our name. OK, because if you go through here, our job uh, ID is uh, with the job ID only, you can recognize that double one four zero two. Now what I'm doing is let me clear the screen. And uh, uh, along with this thing I'm having uh, one more thing guys actually purchases data is there. Uh, just let me take that purchases data is a bigger file actually. So this time we'll submit the job. Uh, um, input file yeah yeah purchases underscore input is there. What I'm doing here is. Uh, rather than DE. 
purchases underscore input data and Java MR purchases. Okay, this is the file. After submission, immediately we go to the air. Uh, see, just uh, let me see what is the uh, job ID pins. Okay, I did a mistake. Input path does not exist. Purchases input. Let me see. Only S is there, no double S. That's what it is not allowing us. Immediately like this. Okay, we have not faced any error so far. So if you see guys how it is showing the error while submitting the MR orientation. Okay. Um, now what I'm doing here is uh, the same command. S is not there. So purchase dot purchase underscore input. If you see here, this one I am talking about. It's a bigger file. So now at the moment I am uh, giving the entry. It is running air and I need to get the ID of the job. Double one four double. 404 404 just yes, to refresh refresh double one four zero four it gives the up-to-date information for us then friends current running job okay so this this one just now we have submitted big data mind one double one four zero four immediately it is responding and our uh, attempt this thing okay just it is running okay so three Containers I am having. Now we are talking about the containers also. So in the launching of the jobs, uh, we are having that containers information. Okay, in the uh, architecture we are going to talk about and uh, finished jobs. Let me see uh, how uh, whether we our job is finished or not. Yes, uh, ours is uh, uh, what is the job ID guys? Four zero four, still running. That's what uh, we cannot see that uh, four zero four completed. OK, so uh, like still we are in the running process. OK, double one four zero four. You can click on this. And uh, the appropriate see earlier we have seen only three containers. Now uh, it becomes six. OK, reason is uh, simple as far as that uh, input is coming in and it is going to uh, enlarge that uh, appropriate data because there are four phases na? in the initial phase uh, input is going to to generate and uh, that uh, input, input should be mapped with the records in the input phase. And then once you generate the information that will be taken by the map phase and within that map phase event key value pairs. OK, so uh, just like that it is going to perform the activity. Now let me see whether our job is finished. OK, so just to uh, how many jobs are there, uh, how many finished jobs were there. Our intention is uh, we need to see the 404 job is finished or not. OK, so yes, we got it. This job got finished. You can see here also the job is finished. So uh, even sometimes guys, uh, even we don't know. Um, uh, uh, I, I mean, uh, even we don't have any access on the after submission of your jobs, uh, these things you may not get. OK, maybe they, they would have hide the admin. But simply you can go to this app and you can monitor your uh, tasks. OK, all these kind of the convention. Once you click on this, uh, the finished job information, just it is giving the uh, all the information when it is got started, when it got launched and finished time. OK, and time elapsed, all these kind of the considerations. And uh, within that, now we don't have any container. Because container is something while running the job, then only we can see the container information. Here nothing is there. Because container is a package, okay, where it is providing all the resources, maybe the CPU timing and all these kind of the aspects. Okay. So this is how you can specify the finished jobs. And similarly, if you see the uh, job history server, um, now we are in the resource manager, but uh, I want to go to the job history server. So simple. Uh, just what you can do is just you can make use of um, this thing SSL server. Click on this. Just this is the information of already completed uh, jobs. Okay, job history server. So why we are revisiting these things is friends. Uh, our entire um, uh, discussion, our entire architectural aspects are revolving around these uh, terminologies. Now you, you can observe friends here. We are seeing about the map task and reduce task. 
after completion. There are two maps, map tasks required, and reduce uh, five reduced tasks required. So if you click on this map, two maps, upload the information, and uh, if you click on the reduce five, and again, if you click on this particular thing, there are uh, certain log file information. OK, each reduced task because the one one important point we observed there uh, in the job submission of the map reduce uh, um, uh, your task. OK, your uh, task or your uh, job is running in parallel actually. So that is uh, the parallel mode of execution. So all your uh, map and here also you can easily observe um, while running these kind of the jobs is uh, running in parallel map reduce reduce also keep on floating but one important point is until completion of the map uh, there are uh, again this particular map task is split into the multiple maps okay parallelism may not always be uh, parallel map and reduce practically if you observe guys without generation of the input split there is no map job that's what it is taking some kind of the pass okay at the time of this thing and and if you see this 5 7 and up to uh, some uh, this 56 you no know, 4 um this got started uh, after some uh, uh, 20 seconds or something like that friends if you see this because uh, within these 20 seconds whatever the input you supplied you see here just we have given some input data okay so with respect to this jar we have given the purchases input and initially it is uh, launching the iron application and thereafter it is uh, connecting with the uh, one minute this also very much needed to you so just the process okay along with the log file just if you see this kind of the convention up to this one okay up to this one uh, reason is uh, uh, your uh, iron should be launched and uh, iron should be connected with the uh, resource manager okay that is the flow so if you observe this kind of the flow, it is uh, very much easy to you uh, to got the essence of uh, the uh, to got the understanding of this job. See proxy as just I mentioned from the client application, uh, there should be a server which is running the jobs. Here the resource manager or resource management cluster is our ad. Here we have seen okay the ad kind of the thing, but uh, your job is under uh, MR2. So what it does is uh, it is establishing a connection to the resource manager because your entire job, all the uh, resources and all the nodes are available. And with that, uh, just it is uh, establishing a container actually. Here the point is uh, based on the requirement of the map reduce to add provide some kind of the container. Container is a placeholder where all the uh, packages are available in terms of the CPU timing and as well as the allocation of the cluster uh, uh, memory, all these kind of the things are happening. So just if you are referencing uh, after uh, establishing a connection from client to the resource manager, what it is doing job resource uploader. If you observe friends in the job tracker also, once the input is there and uh, uh, mapper and reducers are there, uh, you are in a, into the distributed file system. The job information is going to upload. This is something like that. OK, the job resource uploader here. If you refer the job resource uploader, um, uh, th this thing is nothing but uh, uh, all the input files and whatever the um, input uh, data I'm having job information, especially the mapper class, reducer class. In case of the Python or in case of the Java, I'm having the package name and driver class names. Again, within the driver class name, there are uh, certain mapper and reducer classes. OK, all these conventions, all these kind of the aspects are pretty clear uh, in the understanding of the app. So once the job uh, input data items are available and if you observe the earlier uh, thing, friends earlier, there is some error. Suppose uh, if I'm not giving the if I'm not giving properly the input uh, file or else my driver class is norm, name is not there, then it is not going to submit the job because job submission. If it is taking place means entire input uh, files and all the requirements should be satisfied. OK, once the job submission is over, then it is going to establish uh, the staging area because mapper is a temporary output. It's not a final output guys. 
OK, so likewise it is uh, taking place and uh, all these kind of the activities are performing. OK, once this thing is over, all the resources are available. Now this uh, uh, est uh, establishment of this uh, job ID, all these kind of conventions are taking place. OK, so just we are uh, making use of the same kind of the convention because we were seeing this thing from uh, two or three days. So just uh, making use of the conventions and all these things uh, we were seeing. OK, only the change is uh, now we can able to identify. OK, we can able to identify the orientation. OK, how these particular things really placed in our architecture. So that is the idea of it. OK, uh, for that, uh, let us uh, move to our uh, one note. OK, there uh, you can uh, because new guys uh, for the sake of new guys also just I am. Uh, uh, recapping guys, of course, for the existing members also uh, uh, because uh, we got some two days uh, gap. So obviously these terminologies again, uh, I should uh, uh, recap these kind of the terminologies. Uh, OK, so otherwise, uh, you know, automatically there is a disconnect. So for both the sake, uh, I am making use of these conventions, right? Now uh, just have a look on this friends. Now we are pretty clear with uh, whatever the terms appearing in the screen. Uh, job history server just we have seen. Job history server provides all the complete job information. And uh, whatever the job we have submitted, those submitted jobs uh, information in terms of map tasks and reduced tasks and how many map tasks were established and how many reduced tasks were established. Those information can be seen. Along with that, uh, you can get the log file information also. So that is how you can see the job history server. Whereas if I am talking about the resource manager, uh, very first thing is uh, once you submit the job, initially your uh, cluster is uh, launching the ARN because ARN is uh, the major uh, component in the job submission process of the Hadoop uh, because that is a resource manager, cluster resource manager component the completely handles. And once that ARN is launched, then uh, the client is uh, establishing a connection with the resource manager where the resource manager put a request uh, of uh, what exactly uh, it is requiring and uh, how many map tasks are required and uh, how much amount of the memory is needed. All these kind of the things uh, uh, through the proxy. OK, so the resource manager is going to submit to the ARN. Now the ARN is giving the container information. The, we have seen guys while running the job. OK, while running the job. So this particular container uh, while running the job, just it is uh, uh, estimating the map task and as well as the reduced task. OK, and uh, of course uh, the application master. Actually this, uh, if you observe guys, the uh, basic point is uh, we know that the node manager should uh, update the status information to the resource manager. To the resource manager that you can see this is one node manager. This is another node manager because we're having two machines running. So obviously uh, this node manager is uh, uh, updating the information. Uh, now why application master? OK, why application master? Again, submitting the status information to the resource manager. That is what that the question I am asking. And uh, one more important thing, guys, just a little down I am going. OK, so let me get this uh, image once again. OK, without uh, moving there and here and there. Uh, now you see here, guys, my question here is, uh, of course, some of the observations we are making. Uh, Job history server. Information about all the completed jobs. We are having map. And reduced tasks. OK, that thing and of course uh, resource manager is a master node. OK, which is expecting the information from node manager one, node manager two. Of course, we, in this example, we're having two node managers. Now, one more important point I'm saying here, you guys. Application master. 
application master okay which is a combination of the map task reduce task so if you see the diagram application master is getting the information from the reduce task and as well as the map task okay now let me see how many are you are getting the information of by application master need to update the status info with the resource manager have a look on this guys i need your uh, answers i'll be waiting no problem uh, just let me copy this diagram into the chat window also because this is the most important thing in spite of uh, uh, node manager update why this uh, application master also need to submit the job we need to submit the information of uh, your uh, uh, i mean the uh, resource manager is of course getting the information from the node manager but what is the reason behind uh, submission of the job uh, submission of the information from application master that is the question how do you read that how do you answer that thing why application master need to update the status info with the resource manager think through friends okay so just in what way you can support your answer okay so just i'm giving you one minute of the time no problem just to have a look on the diagram okay take your time and why this uh, in spite of uh, node manager job submission i mean update submission why application master need to submit the status information to the resource manager that is my question because that is the important point to observe in this uh, architecture so th just to think through whether after completion of one minute i'll pick a person so that i can give the answer okay so <clears throat> bala asked oh parthi shanmugam is there parthi can you give the reason why it is so parthi are you there or Ah, yes. Yeah, please.
no problem i'll wait because we need to contribute friends in understanding so uh, okay let us move to other okay i got some answers vedant <laughs> okay good good you know you are near to that vedant sir you are near to that yeah of course i we, these members are uh, like uh, a version 1 uma version 2 dr uma version 3 pavan like that only hari haran asur lochan and our vedant <laughs> that's what i I am not touching you guys. <laughs> uh, Harish, tell me, you want to kind of, you want to tell? Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. I think the resource manager uh, is responsible for uh, scheduling applications, may produce jobs. So mm -hmm. that's why I think application must need to be updated to resource manager. Uh, you are right, but my question is, uh, Harish. Uh, uh, though node manager is updating the status information, why again application master is contacting the resource master? Is there any logic behind that? See, just you, I think you, you can, if you keenly observe the functionalities of the node manager and application master, then you can, uh, uh, even our Vedanta also near to the point, but not exactly the, uh, the words and all very similar. Vedant use and uh, even our uh, Asru also. Okay, I don't want to uh, 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 wait much. Okay, and I don't want to surprise you. <laughs> Simple thing, friends. Here, see, uh, here are two kinds of the status we need to observe. Hope I am sharing the screen. Yeah, mm. two types of the status information. One is about uh, the machine. That means the data node orientation. Second is about the job status. So uh, in a simple layman term terminology, guys, I am having my resource manager. And of course, uh, node manager one is there. Node manager two. In this example, we are having two things. And uh, again, uh, related to this uh, node manager, we are uh, running a job that is a map task I'm running. Here I am running the reduce task, maybe some something like that. Okay. And uh, see, if node manager one and two are updating the status, that means, uh, of course, the task is running. The task is running, no problem for the job. That information is only it is taking, but uh, how much uh, application or how much job is completed and all these kind of the conventions are there with application master. I will elaborately talk about this thing because we are having some other, um, uh, you know, uh, some other uh, uh, diagram uh, to explain this. So this application master is uh, picking up the uh, status information of map task and reduce that because this is a complete job information guys only some portion of the data is available with individual machines but whereas this application master okay as we are running the parallel job and we pretty know that uh, uh, one application is equivalent to master plus reduce okay after completion of the map and reduce this is not master, this is mapper. After completion of the map and as well as the reduce task, then only I can say my application is completed. So this is partial updation, but completely if the map is completed or reduce is completed. That is the reason, friends, while running the okay, while running the job information, we are adding the resource manager content. After completion of the job, Okay, after completed the job, we are having the job history server. Even in case of our uh, add component also, we have seen both. 
रिसोर्स मैनेजर टेकिंग केयर अबाउट द करंटली रनिंग जॉब्स इन द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द कंटेनर इन द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द कंटेनर वेयर एज योर जॉब हिस्ट्री सर्वर ऑल द कंप्लीटेड जॉब इंफॉर्मेशन अलोंग विद द मैप्स एंड एज वेल एज द रिड्यूस टास्क एंड ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन सी द लॉग फाइल कंटेंट आल्सो ओके सो दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई इन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम इफ यू ऑब्जर्व फ्रेंड्स अलोंग विद द नोड मैनेजर अपडेशन the container the application master also need to update the information with the resource manager okay so node manager of course node manager is doing its activity of uh, uh, whether i am alive or not whether these tasks are running uh, i mean the node manager uh, is running the jobs or it is uh, uh, failed okay in that case resource manager has to come up with the speculative execution that we have discussed okay if uh, any any of the job uh, while running if a particular task is not responding back then it has to uh, update it has to verify uh, the uh, new whether i need to establish a new task or something like that so if that is the case then uh, uh, suddenly if old task also started responding back then obviously it is to verify the status of information once that status information is uh, uh taken by the uh, resource manager so then uh, based on the completion of the status it is going to update the info okay so this is the understanding related to um the resource manager job history server contained information and of course node manager all these node managers per machine we are having one node manager okay if i am uh, making use of the node manager and all the container kind of the applications okay now the point is okay this thing uh, we are uh, now pretty clear now the understanding is guys uh, what exactly uh, each and every um, uh, uh, i mean component does because uh, resource manager node manager application master at the outset we need to understand uh, that kind of function for that particular purpose uh, i have compiled this data for us let's have a look on this guys now what it gives is uh, your resource manager is a global resource scheduler which is having the information about uh, all the tasks running and hierarchical queues okay, you know why hierarchical job queue is there na? so it maintains all the queue information and accordingly for the map it maintains one uh, kind of the queue and for the reduce it maintains one kind of the queue okay and once the map is completed it eradicates the queue and reduce completed it updates the main queue okay job queue kind of thing now node manager we know that uh, is a slave kind of thing which is available in each machine per machine we are having one more node manager manages the life cycle of the container okay and uh, it it also monitor the containers resources because a container as i said is a package friends okay container which is containing the Uh, resource info okay resource allocation actually okay because that particular container is a place folder where it is having the cpu processing time and as well as the uh, space all these kind of the requirements okay and application master of course for application because if you submit the job so an application master is going to establish and this is having the map and as well as the reduce and application master activity is to pick up the status from both the ma map and reduce okay from the map and reduce this application master is going to uh, fetch the information and then only it can conclude that yes the map is completed and corresponding reduce is also completed so it is going to update the information with the resource manager okay node manager updation is related to whether the current container is enough whether the current uh, resource allocation is enough for all these kind of things suppose if any resource is failed then resource manager should uh, acquire the additional resources from the add and accordingly it is going to plan uh, but whereas application master activity is it is not bothering about the uh, container or uh, resources it is uh, its uh, main responsibility is uh, the status of the jobs actually whether the job is how much job is completed whether the complete uh, map and reduce is completed related to a particular job all these kind of the conventions it is is also uh, per application we are having one application master 
and manages application scheduling and task execution. Map reduce application master, of course. Okay, these things can be absorbed in that way. So, resource manager, global resource uh, scheduler or allocator, and hierarchy queues. Just I'm having multi queue architecture and node manager. As a, as it is slave, how we are seeing the uh, task manager um, uh, like that. Uh, the, uh, Job tracker, task tracker, how we observed. So, uh, permission we are adding one task tracker. And life cycle of the container. So, up, starting from the establishment of the container until the elimination. Actually, this uh, container is uh, available for the running jobs only. Because running jobs only need the resources. Once the job is complete, it is enough to observe the outcome. Outcome, however, we are getting with the Hadoop distributed file system directory. And moreover, uh, our job history server also maintaining the information of that uh, map and reduce and how much time it has taken, uh, how many maps were launched, how many reduces were uh, launched, all those kind of the conventions. Okay. And finally, the application master, which is uh, having the information about the map and reduce, it is going to integrate uh, the map status and reduce status. In a way, it is going to pick up uh, the status information into the uh, resource manager. And of course, uh, per application, we should not per machine guide because you were uh, to observe this diagram. We are have, maybe we are having many maps and many reducers, uh, but uh, how many machines I am having, I don't mind. But uh, how many applications are running? That is important to this application master. There is a distinction, friends. Okay, because here we are running only one application. That's what we are having only one application master. Suppose if they, if uh, our admin is running multiple uh, applications, simple example, uh, uh, maybe uh, just I can say like this guys. So I am running uh, my job, and Sahu is also submitted the job in Spark. Bala submitted uh, his job in Hive, and Harish uh, submitted his job in Piglet in Azure that. Now you see, guys. Uh, here I, I have submitted my job in MapReduce in uh, Python orientation. This is actually one job. So this job is also containing map task and reduce task. And Sahu Spark also containing as the Spark is running on top of here. This is also containing this thing. And hi, we are having this thing. And Harish also submitted uh, some kind of the job. Now you see how many applications were there? One, two, three, four. So definitely we need to have four application master. That is understanding, friends. Okay, because our admin is ready to accept uh, different categories of the job, no matter whether that is MapReduce job in Java or MapReduce job in Python or MapReduce job in Spark or Hive or Pig Latin or even Flume or Scoop, whichever. So in that particular case, there is a convention. Okay, the convention is uh, uh, how many jobs are currently running, those many application masters were there. In, in our example, we have taken only one job. That's what we're having only one application master. That is the understanding. Okay, to, uh, to elaborate uh, uh, this kind of thing. Okay, so just I'm uh, uh, mentioning some other aspect. So it got some stuck one. Just a second. Got stuck. Okay. Just a second. Got yeah, stuck. Sometimes. Okay. Just let me guess. Sorry for that. Excuse me. So with that, uh, just you can uh, identify. So in what way uh, the job scheduling happens uh, related to this uh, resource manager, job history server, and all these things. Now the point is uh, um, the other other uh, things also we'll see, guys. Just uh, uh, elaborate discussion related to the application master and how I am making use of the conventions related to this uh, resource manager and node manager. And if multiple applications are there, okay, if uh, 
multiple applications are there, then uh, how do I uh, manage the conventions? Okay, so that is also one of the important uh, point. Uh, let us have a look on uh, uh, those points also. Okay, then changing the screen. It's not moving at all, actually. Still, this body project tells. Answer what structure? Yeah. So, okay, so just we'll start with the uh, other convention, guys. Let me hold this thing. Just a second, I am moving to task manager. Simply calling the participants. I'll rejoin guys, wait just to wait. Uh, let me restart. So we're gonna have a break. Uh, just I'll let you know so how do we connect. Because just uh, this causing some trouble. Initially, I'm not about to go in the
So hi all. Hope you are there after the break. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, thank sir. you. Yes, sir. I <laughs> in between I got struck with this mouse and even this uh, this thing also not. Uh, Yeah, thank you, Hakil. Thank you for confirming. Let's get started. <clears throat> so we were uh, in the discussion of the application master. Uh, that application master, of course, uh, combination of uh, uh, two things, map task and as well as the reduced tasks. So basically, these uh, map and reduced tasks uh, uh, specify the uh, functionality of the application. So that we pretty know. And uh, uh, one more important thing is uh, uh, just if uh, specifying uh, with the just we will be having the uh, observation of uh, um, uh, along with the node manager functionality, we are uh, getting the status of the application master also. Uh, that point we have observed. Okay, now one more uh, uh, point uh, I want to specify here to understand the uh, observation. Before the break, uh, what I have asked you is uh, why application master again uh, submitting the information to the um, resource manager. So there we have stopped. So for that, uh, just, uh, uh, you can have a look on this uh, diagram, guys. So where if you are uh, uh, making use of the convention, so just a second. So most it is pretty difficult, but still let me get the content for us. So the ad manager. Hmm. Sir, at a yeah, yeah. we can see the yeah. screen. Okay, hope you are seeing the screen. Huh? Right. So, if you are uh, uh, making use of this diagram, because this is the complete view of uh, our ADM architecture. So, that particular ADM architecture, along with our uh, uh, all these uh, kind of the conventions, um, uh, one minute, guys, just a uh, second. Okay. Yeah. I am facing that operational issues actually. <laughs> People say how oh, difficult. Yeah, now, so have a look on this, guys. Just I'm having this uh, complete architecture with us. Uh, uh, you might have observed this uh, two clients, uh, client and as well as the client. Maybe, as I said, na, Bala would have uh, submitted Spark. Harish may be working with Hive. So, from multiple clients, uh, you can submit the job. And your resource manager, first it is going to interact with the resource manager. Mm. Now our focus is on this. I assume that I'm having three machines. Obviously, I'm having the uh, corresponding node managers with me. This is pretty, pretty clear to us. And uh, each and every node manager is uh, having the container. Designing the container, which is uh, um, uh, the container which helps us to provide some CPU processing and some kind of the time to complete the job with the with the resources. Okay, and coming to the second aspect, if you see, we are having uh, in first machine we are having the application master, and in the second machine also we are having the application master. But if you see in the third machine, there is no application master. Okay, there is no application master. Reason is pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Suppose I'm having some kind of the tasks in system one and system two, and uh, assume that system three, in system one and system three, and in system two, I don't have any uh, uh, task running, assume that. Okay, 
So what I am doing here is uh, uh, to maintain the convention of the first machine and third machine monitoring, I can have my application mask in the second machine. What I mean to say is uh, it doesn't always mean that whatever the application master in whichever the machine I am having the application master, uh, that machine need not have any job running because application master is a component, is a monitoring tool, is a state of observer. So if you consider this point, guys, this application master, okay, so let me write down, let me write, write down uh, the first application master, okay, application master one, getting the state of information, if you go up, okay, where it is getting the state of information from second machine, okay, from the second machine. An application master of the second machine getting the information from first and third machine. Okay, so your application master one is getting the information from the second machine. And application master two, application master two, okay, which is there in the, uh, which is getting the information from one and third machine. Okay, so that means the application master one is there in the first machine. This is in the second machine. Now, if you observe this particular point, one thing is clear. The same application master or the single application master can get the information from the multiple machines. Maybe I can say like this. Maybe in uh, first, we are running the map task. And maybe in the third machine, we are running the reduce task. But uh, from the second machine, as I'm having the application master in the second machine, it is going to get the information from both the machines. Okay. Reason is uh, pretty simple, friends. If something happened to this application master, okay, but no, don't worry. Uh, as map task and reduce task are running on some other machines, the resource manager can establish a, some other application master. Suppose if you are placing application master, map task or reduce task in the same machine, we don't know the status. And in a way, we are going to lose this map or reduce task information also. Okay, that is the observation. Why our application master, okay, why our application master is still allowing, is still publishing the appropriate information individually. Because if you see the container information, uh, all the machines are having the containers, especially if you see the uh, third machine, multiple containers were having. Uh, that can be, that, that may be possible, guys, because with the same machine, uh, with the same machine, I can run both the map and reduce task. Sometimes, you know, the same uh, node manager can uh, uh, run the map task and reduce task. And within the same data node, uh, also we are having some kind of the information with us. So uh, it is all depending on how much amount of the data I am processing and uh, how big my input data is. If, if your input is big, then I need uh, uh, multiple uh, splits of the input file. And in a way, those many map tasks are required. As many map tasks are there, and I need uh, those many reduced tasks. So obviously, uh, I should allocate uh, multiple machines so as to process. So have a look on this diagram. Guys. Just you think through, uh, just now we understood that uh, uh, the application master, container, node manager, individually. Now together, okay, together, how they are uh, communicating each other, okay? So that red colored line, if you see, that red colored dotted line, uh, node status, okay? Because the node manager responsibility is to update the information about the machine. Okay, node means nothing but machine. Uh, whether that machine is functioning or not, all these kind of the information. So, uh, according to the architecture of the Hadoop, we pretty know that um, the slave machine periodically need to update the information with the master. In this case, the node manager, of course, is a slave, and which is responsible to uh, run the task, okay? And with the help of the container and application master, and periodically, the node manager is going to update the node status with the resource manager. We are very clear about that. Coming to the next thing, friends, if you observe the 
blue colored dotted lines blue color dotted lines only two we are having whereas the node manager that red color dotted lines three we are having because red color dotted lines three why we are having is uh, three node managers are there so all the three node managers need to update the status information with the resource manager whereas if you are talking about the application master um, though all the three are running the applications but uh, our application master uh, is residing in first machine and second machine and first machine is uh, picking up the status of the second machine uh, i mean second uh, task uh, second machine task and uh, your second application master this thing actually the second application master uh, is picking up the data from the first machine and as well as the third machine okay so obviously our first machine's application master is submitting the status information to the resource manager in the second machine whichever the application master we are having that is also updating the status information with the resource manager okay that is the convention and uh, these two we pretty know like uh, the node uh, status we observed and as well as uh, the second uh, this red colored and the blue colored uh, resource request okay a resource request in the sense friends uh, maybe uh, periodically maps are increasing automatically those many machines i need to have and uh, accordingly the space and uh, time should be allocated so this is what uh, the application master is conveying periodically to the resource manager and thereafter okay if you observe the uh, normal lines uh, the job submission of course this is the job submission just we are submitting hadoop jar jar file name package name dot driver class name input and output that of course uh, job submission and your uh, map reduce status actually the map reduce status friends map reduce status is nothing but uh, completion of the job okay so this information is available with the air naturally okay so uh, so the point is pretty simple client is going to submit the job to the resource manager uh, the resource manager provide some kind of the uh, resources to the appropriate uh, jobs in terms of uh, node manager by splitting the job into the task and each and every machine is allocated with uh, the container this is a package of uh, uh, cpu timing and as well as the uh, processing all these kind of allocations and your application master is something like which is uh, uh, establishing or getting the status information from multiple tasks in terms of map and uh, reduce and it is going to uh, convey or it is going to request the appropriate uh, job okay whatever the updates we are having based on those kind of the convention it is going to pick up the job information okay so this is how you uh, observe the orientation of the uh, map reduce one and as well as the uh, job submission related to the air map okay now uh, the other uh, specification friends because th this is a overview how we are getting but uh, in, in terms of the flow of the data just we need to understand that uh, how your uh, air mr flow is taking place okay so just let me show you that your air mr flow mr flow is not new for us already we have seen uh, in terms of uh, um our job ta uh, job tracker task tracker all these kind of the convention now we are uh, arming up okay we are a little uh, uh, advanced in case of the map reduce to uh, so our interest is uh, so as to go ahead and understand the flow of the uh, arm kind of flow. so the client node client node is nothing but uh, the web shell this here we are going to Uh, run the job uh, in terms of uh, Hadoop uh, jar. So just we are uh, having that uh, command. And once you uh, have this particular map reduce code, maybe this code uh, either Java or .dot py orientation, anything is okay. Or else you can submit the job in Hive also. In a while uh, after completion of uh, this R N architecture, uh, we straight away start with uh, Hive. Just we are submitting the job friends. We are running the job. and you pretty know that okay entire your hadoop architecture is running on top of the java 
so that client jvm it is known as the client jvm and uh, uh, if you submit the job then it creates the job object this object is nothing but which is a, a, a kind of uh, uh, an combination of the resource manager all these kind of the conventions now the uh, of course the second important point is uh, resource manager of course which is the management of uh, all these uh, uh, job info okay so in terms of input and all the kind of the mechanisms so it is uh, getting the new application that's why the reason this is assigning some kind of the job id okay assignment of the job id by the and and third thing is uh, of course we are having the job resources in hdfs which are all the job resources the input file uh, and of course if you are having your jar information that can be supplied uh, uh, in the job uh, mapper and reducer kind of the aspect com dot sample dot just we have seen in the package information and you can mention the word count like this you can mention so uh, once the information is copied from the hadoop distributed file system then only it is able to submit the uh, job to the resource manager because uh, uh, this this uh, job resource information is nothing but your uh, driver uh, okay which is involving uh, uh, mapper and as well as the reducer mapper and as well as the reducer along with your uh, input data also okay because without having the input uh, on what basis uh, the map or reducer or do find that no kind of the map page or reducer page there should be a framework activity uh, once the information is uh, once the input is there i saw in my particular input is going to split the input into the multiple uh, records hello hello sir there was some disturbance in your voice can you like repeat yeah so? till till all people are getting the same guys let me one minute today yes, i don't sir. fine now sir fine now fine now okay okay guys yeah still the problem persists or it's okay now it's fine sir yeah. it's fine, fine sir okay. thank you thank you thank you so uh, again i am uh, repeating guys the latest point so the uh, resource copying uh, specifies that uh, whatever the input data i am having so because that input data is uh, maybe purchases data or else sales information whichever once you once you submit your job the very first point is it is uh, uh, picking up the input information and uh, with respect to that input information it is going to split the the input into the records that is what you call the input phase and the input split phase is uh, is a framework activity we need not do any uh, anything related to that only the thing is we have to specify your requirement in terms of the map and once that mapping is over mapping is nothing but uh, uh, whatever the input records were having those things should be split into the key value phase okay uh, and once that map phase is over then again the framework activity shuffle phase so the shuffle is something like uh, which is the uh, rearrangement of the data in the sorted order and finally this sorted output is uh, given as input to the reduce phase and reduce is going to aggregate all these kind of the conventions and which close the functionality of uh, uh, output okay so up to this uh, there is no uh, disturbance for us friends and how we are uh, seeing in case of the job tracker in the similar way uh, you can observe the convention but uh, from this particular point uh, we are having some other uh, zone uh, let me get uh, the diagram for us okay now you have it for this case friends so uh, in this particular case uh, just we are uh, having some kind of the conventions uh, once the four step process is over until the submission of job to the resource manager the fifth step is starting of the map reduce application master <laughs> here the point application master okay, which is uh, a monitoring agent of map and uh, a reduce tasks from the same machine or individual machine that we know 
and uh, once this particular uh, application master is started next thing is the node manager okay the node manager creates mr app master okay and uh, this mr app, app master is nothing but for every job okay because i am having multiple map task according to this thing i am having the reduce jobs also maybe five reduce task and so this uh, mr application master created by this node manager you know guys node manager of course uh, instructions uh, received from resource manager by node manager because this is a master this is a master task and this is a slave task the slave machine kind of thing okay and and uh, here one more point you need to observe uh, your map reduce application master is nothing but a message actually you need to observe that point what this message containing is by this time the resource manager would have got the information about uh, the input and as well as your uh, mapper reducer all this information and driver input so obviously uh, it is sending the message of this thing because uh, practically resource manager is not uh, exactly running the job who is running the job node manager because node manager should know about uh, which are all the map or reduce tasks and accordingly it is going to perform some kind of the activity so what it does is after getting the information about uh, uh, this map task and reduce task so rather than calling them as map task and reduce task we are calling them as application master that's all okay that application master involve the information of mapper and reducer and all those things so in a way the node manager from the resource manager got the information of uh, these things and it is going to create application master don't get confused with them because start mr application master in the sense this is a message actually okay resource manager is uh, popping up some information to the node manager because even me also uh, like uh, uh, in a way next friday you are having the assessment okay maybe three hour assessment 10 to 1 just i will be uh, giving some kind of the questions to you uh, some descriptive some kind of simple coding okay all these kind of aspects so this is a message actually and on friday 10 to 12 what you will do just to sit and do uh, whatever the activities i asked and before two or something you are going to upload uh, the appropriate document into the placeholder now you see just it is uh, conveying the information about the uh, uh assessment is uh, message and uh, of course you, your preparation all these things are nothing but here okay just as a member you can prepare all the things and then you are going to submit uh, the appropriate exam documents maybe handwritten or a word file or pdf file or whichever to the corresponding place holder okay that means uh, just uh, uh, as a mentor i am instructing you and we are uh, following the instructions accordingly we are going to prepare and we are going to uh, prepare those kind of the documents and which have as per the requirement and then finally you are going to uh, submit in the corresponding place folder so this is the way how you can uh, specify the notion of uh, submission of the job to adobe distributed file system okay so now uh, in this uh, step what we have observed is uh, Uh, the resource manager giving the information to the load manager about the number of uh, uh, resources and uh, all these map and uh, reduce task all these kind of thing once that message reached to the node manager it is going to prepare or it is going to create the appropriate map reduce application master and application master of course uh, is get input split okay and one one more thing guys here why uh, we are talking about input split now is uh, uh, see just i am now i got to know that my application master involves the uh, map task reduce task but before the map task okay we should have the input split this input split is available with 
कुछ भी हो गया ओके सो दट इनपुट स्प्लिट शुड बी टेकन बाई द मैप टास्क एंड इट इज गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द मैपर वन सिक्स इज ओवर द आउटपुट ऑफ दट मैपर इज गिवेन टू द शफल and it is given to the reduce so the mm, this is the first point second one third and fourth you would able to map the appropriate convention uh, while talking about uh, uh, the props and and one more thing is that at the outset uh, uh, more or less uh, the same kind of the activities we are following but rather uh, every time we are uh, talking about the dot tracker at that moment but now uh, uh, there is a reasonable uh, i mean uh, job sharing or reasonable resource sharing among the appropriate entries now you see the final uh, understanding on it it is uh, sometimes it is allowing one minute yes now i got the information yes okay now you see here this is the final step uh, how we are uh, running through uh, the appropriate logic so as to finish and get the outcome the most important thing then because uh, in case of the job tracker and task tracker there is a job queue and all those things we have observed and this is a little different this is a little different because here add is playing a vital role okay uh, now so just this thing already we have seen uh, the node manager after receiving the message uh, from the resource manager okay so in 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 uh, related to uh, the application master details what it does it has created uh, the mr application master okay so now if you refer the execution process uh, just i am uh, running through uh, the next step. Uh, think like you know directly we are uh, establishing the corresponding node managers accordingly we are having number of application masters related to the containers only what do you mean by this container is as said earlier is a package of uh, info uh, uh, like uh, cpu time or processing all those details are available and which was which were given to the node manager because uh, the node manager uh, is a machine actually and of course all the task running all these things are uh, responsibilities of this uh, node manager now the, here we are uh, talking about the air manager okay now observe here friends maybe if you are having the background of the linux okay we are having a task Uh, there we are having some kind of the fork for child process generally in a job we are having task 1 task 2 and task 3 each task is having some uh, again child process okay similarly here also uh, what we are uh, observing here is uh, have a look on this guys so from the hadoop distributed file system because this hdf is only containing the input data Mm, and moreover uh, we are having the information about because we have submitted our jar info and uh, mapper.py reducer.py all these contents so it is acquiring the job resources okay and moreover these job resources will be given to the task okay actually what this task is uh, maybe i can say like this things some task and taking what is my task here is the uh, sales of each product that is my task now each product in the sense definitely that group by must be applied so product 1 product 2 product 3 and the corresponding sales maybe in dollars uh, i want to get this this is the outcome but this outcome is not uh, uh, in a, a single step process a single step process first i should get all the records and then i should apply the group by option and accordingly uh, the appropriate products are grouped and then summation some of the sales can be applied this is a typical uh, uh, 
uh, in in the in terms of uh, Python or in terms of Java, oh, one can easily perform this logic. Now these kind of the conventions, what it does is uh, the map reduce task execution is done by the add chain. Add chain is nothing but the cluster manager. Is a cluster manager. Which is providing a place, which is providing a storage, and which is providing some time so as to run the task. This ARM is executing the map reduce task. Okay, whatever the input I'm having, whichever the map and reduce I'm having internally, it is going to perform some kind of the parallelization and uh, it is uh, uh, giving some convention, like you know, how we are uh, uh, performing the activities of uh, uh, those things and all. Okay. Likewise, just if you are uh, comparing between, actually I asked Harish uh, Vedant and our Satru to ask to uh, give the demonstration on job and uh, task tracker. Uh, I, 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 am, I am aware of them, but still I'm, why I am pausing here is guys, uh, maybe I am adding some more point to those guys. Just uh, it is a bit uh, uh, stringent. Uh, 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 maybe the first thing, the job tracker, MR functionality. Huh? So now I am adding one more topic. And kind of job processing. Okay. So uh, I am presenting this uh, topic. This is maybe Thursday. I will be taking your presentation. The assessment uh, one is on. Uh, Friday. Okay, so assessment one I am doing. Apart from that, uh, just I want to give some kind of the uh, other things, friend. Maybe not for all. Um, few interested members. Okay, uh, uh, already map reduce flow MR one flow I have given. Now I I want to uh, take one more thing map reduce to and R explanation, the architectures. Okay, these uh, things maybe you can uh, nominate yourself, maybe three members, as they have how I have allocated uh, the thing to the earlier batch. So just you you can uh, take up these thing trends. Maybe some other members I will I may be giving the uh, hive architecture and how hive is distinct with uh, map reduce that I'm going to float uh, for some other members. Okay, by today evening or something like that, just to update me on the on your interest. Otherwise, uh, tomorrow I will announce. No problem. Okay. So if you are giving your names, I will assign the topic. Otherwise, I will uh, announce the names and assign the topic. No problem. We are not going to stop any anywhere. Okay. So uh, by understanding these two side by side, because the first thing what I will do is just I will allocate some 50 to 20 minutes of the time to each batch. So obviously, first uh, Harish and uh, uh, Sahu Vedant they. Give the information about this map reduce and job tracker, how uh, they we follow uh, related to the map reduce processing, all these kind of the conventions. Once that batch completes the explanation, then you can see the usage of AR and as well as the map reduce to all those kind of the conventions. Okay. So with this, uh, just you can uh, have a uh, understanding of. Uh, how your ARM is distinct with. Together, if you see the diagrams, uh, in the first case, just very uh, simple, uh, map reduce the code, just we are submitting, and it is creating one uh, a job object kind of thing in terms of job ID. Uh, and uh, the resource manager is uh, assigning ID for that. Uh, and once that is over, just it is picking up uh, some kind of the resources from the Hadoop distributed file system. Mm. And moreover, the information of the job is copied into the Hadoop distributed file system. No matter whether I'm using the map reduce one or map reduce two. In either case, uh, uh, the resources must be available in the Hadoop distributed file system because map reduce is only aware of the HDFS. That is the reason. Coming to the second aspect, uh, uh, after the copying the resources, job submission. Job submission generally happen to the resource manager. Okay. Now, the next diagram, if you observe, after submission of the job to the resource manager, it is sending some message to the node manager. So, hey, I'm having this uh, uh, 
uh, information with me and uh, you need to uh, execute the kind of the convention related to this uh, uh, mapper and reduce then after getting the confirmation from the resource manager node manager created the application master okay uh, uh, the fifth step is a message sixth step is the action actually this is the action and if you see the seventh step of course uh, uh, the input split uh, uh, should be get from the framework activity and then the mapper reducer uh, and in between mapper and reducer where i will reduce task calls uh, shuffle task calls so your input split and as well as the shuffle belongs to the category of the framework activities and your mapper and reducer belongs to the developer activities accordingly uh, just we need to design the uh, logic and once this is over the final uh, diagram so just the creation of the application master by node manager and it is going to work with the container um uh, within that particular container we are having the activities of uh, uh, creation of uh, map reduce task and execution of that uh, mr task by the arm chain all these things will take place okay so uh, moreover friends uh, if you see the uh, there we have seen some first step uh, process in case of the job uh, tracker and task tracker it is a bit uh, a number of tasks number of uh, steps are less uh, and moreover uh, entire things are revolving uh, around the job tracker in case of map reduce one but here we are having uh, the convention of resource manager application master node manager container and uh, arm chain okay in a way map reduce task also Uh, playing a vital role okay in the task execution so this is how you can uh, make use of uh, uh, understanding of your uh, arm and as well as the map reduce tool now one simple question for you guys from this uh, uh, discussion what we are having how can you simply uh, vary between map reduce tool and arm so because uh, you know uh, we interchangeably using these two terms uh, but though uh, though it is correct in some sense uh, but you should be aware of uh, mr2 is not air natural so of course mr2 if i am talking definitely i should use air that is ultimate goal mr1 if i am using i may or may not use the air meaning to say that uh in case of map reduce one coding also without changing anything i can submit my job to the and in fact the java code is uh, mr1 only friends i i have not changed anything related to mr2 but in case of the python definitely those jobs are running on top of the and that is a distinction now the point is uh, uh we are pretty uh, uh straight forward about mr1 and as well as the and But if you are talking about the map reduce two and R, in what way you are going to distinguish uh, these two things? Because at least one simple point must be there in your mind. If you you should register that uh, one point in your mind, how these two can be distinguished. I am waiting here, guys. Okay, so uh, just uh, I will wait for one or two minutes. In between, uh, let me configure my hive also, uh, so that we can uh, start the hive discussion. Uh, but before that uh, just let me put this uh, in the chat window you can use the chat window for that okay uh, mr1 uh, sorry mr2 mr2 and uh, and distinction in a single line Okay, I can edit here now. Okay, so single line. So just you uh, push over uh, uh, whatever the uh, things coming into your mind, so that we can have a discussion. Moreover, let me uh, ask the Deepika.
So just try, I'm waiting for you guys that you take your time and uh, uh, give the answer. And in between, uh, let me start our uh, uh, cluster. Yeah, I could able to see that. Because abruptly we have terminated now, so I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, maybe I, again I have to log in. I'm doing that thing, guys. Take me to home. Yes, I could able to see that. Right. Okay, here uh, in the Cloudera Manager. We we are configured with uh, we were configured with many jobs. Now out of those, uh, um, why we need to uh, have the high wheels? Uh, many members are familiar with the SQL friends because the the how <laughs> importance uh, industry is giving to SQL developers is uh, I can give multiple examples. Okay. The very first example, the very first uh, thing is uh, in case of uh, Hadoop and big data kind of thing, uh, Hive scope, uh, Hive and scope at least, these two are pretty dependent on the uh, SQL kind of thing. That's what Hive query language. In a while, I'm going to uh, show you how to launch Hive and uh, how we are going to create the tables, how we are going to insert, all these kind of conventions I will be talking. So, and moreover, even in our course of study, uh, we are going to uh, talk about the Spark also. Okay. The Spark, of course, is a uh, parallel and distributed convention mm, where Spark itself is having Spark SQL. Okay. The members who are having the familiarity with the SQL. Uh, they can easily design the uh, appropriate code and applications. Even they they are not knowing Python. If no, if they are knowing Python, it is well and good. Along with uh, PySpark, they can venture their Spark SQL also. That is another thing. So let me introduce uh, uh, how this uh, Hive is helping us and what exactly this uh, Hive kind of thing. Okay, in case of the Hive, we are having the gateway. Uh, gateway is of course uh, our uh, Hadoop uh, ecosystem only, and Hive Meta Store server, like how we are having our resource manager and all. Uh, again, we are having the Hive servers, HCAT lag server, and number of hosts. So in a way, this uh, Hive also uh, having some kind of uh, uh, important friends, especially you know, in case of the ETL processing and all those kind of the conventions. Okay, now uh, one more important uh, catchy point uh, here uh, why we need to talk about this Hive is uh, uh, Hive simplifies the coding because MapReduce uh, coding is uh, uh, we need to think in terms of uh, Map and Reducer and uh, either you should be familiar with Java or Python provided uh, along with uh, Hadoop ecosystem tools if you want to maintain your uh, um, uh, implementations related to Java and Python. But uh, general practice is uh, uh, maybe we are getting some uh, code files with uh, uh, Java and uh, Python orientation, and those code files can be uh, uh, generated with jar files. We have seen that. Otherwise, if I if am getting the Python source file, just by getting the Hadoop streaming.jar, I can be able to submit the job. Even I don't bother about uh, how to write the code and all. But sometimes there is a demand for the MapReduce developers also, friends. Uh, in that case, uh, along with this uh, Hadoop uh, ecosystem tools, you should be good in uh, writing of uh, uh, the code in terms of uh, your mapper, reducer, maybe in Java, Python. Okay. But the difficulty here is uh, uh, the programmers should uh, aware of all these Java conventions, Python, and all those kind of aspects. 
so as to avoid this particular thing and so as to simplify so as to simplify the coding into the sql format then the best option we are having is the hive okay how do i launch this particular hive is just uh, have a look on this guys so let us get started with hive uh, this is pretty uh, simple uh, just if you are seeing uh, in a way you are going to realize that um, big data user and uh, just we are uh, making use of the lab now i am giving the hive just simple command nothing else you need not go beyond that uh, Hadoop, FSI, and LLs. At least we need to have some kind of the convention in that case. Uh, see here, uh, though I am running this uh, hive directly, uh, here uh, initially after giving hive, it is uh, an application. It is launching the tab, and all those uh, uh, configurations it is uh, stating, and logging initialized within the configuration, the corresponding ZAR file. Because this is the Cloudera distribution. Uh, from this Cloudera distribution, the jars were uh, used to launch the hive. Okay, that means uh, uh, jar files. If I am talking, definitely the support of the JVM. And Cloudera again, as we are seeing, that means initially and internally, the hive also depending on the Hadoop distributed file system and as well as the map reviews. However, I will be talking about those kind of the conventions now. Uh, what I can do is uh, just let me uh, show you. Uh, so show databases. Now the terminology is uh, like this print. Whatever the tables, whatever the databases I am having, let me clear the screen. So databases, just plenty of databases are there. Even you know compared with MapReduce uh, job submissions. Uh, these databases are many things are there. Okay. Many, many are there. Okay. Now, uh, uh, to clear the screen, uh, clear is not going to work out, guys. It, it simply throws an error, clear. So that uh, what you can do is control L. Okay, control L, which is used to clear the screen in case of the high. Whereas in case of the Hadoop, uh, uh, that uh, local file system uh, command prompt, Directly, I can type the clear uh, so that it is going to clear the screen. But in case of the hive, if you want to clear the screen uh, from the hive prompt, uh, you need to give the control plus L, then only it clears the screen. Okay. Now, just now we have seen the create show uh, databases. I can able to create a database Indium 1. Okay. Just I want to create my uh, database here. Now, if I am giving the show databases, uh, maybe you are getting tons of the databases available. Okay, and manually you have to verify. Manually you have to verify. Before that, what you can do is uh, just to go back to this thing, and I'm we are having the Cloudera view login portal. Just you can go to that, and there is a separate uh, uh, placeholder for Hive also in Cloudera view login portal. The view login portal earlier we have used. So as to load the data directly into our uh, uh, Hadoop distributed file system. Similarly, uh, we are having some other uh, convention also here. Uh, let, uh, let me show you that. Uh, Hive graphical user interface. Okay, how I can, uh, without uh, using the command prompt, CLI kind of thing, uh, I can make use of some um, uh, Hive kind of aspects also. Now, if you observe this SQL orientation, just to click on this, and uh, here I am having the uh, various databases I am having. Uh, you can ask, uh, okay, uh, just if you see, uh, again, let me, yeah, I'm having the high here. Here I can give the information. It is not still uh, affected. Okay, so no problem, because even in case of the map reduce and uh, all these things also, yeah, now it got affected. Uh, Hive is a bit uh, slow, guys, in terms of uh, uh, coding, it is pretty fast. Coding, in, in the sense, you can uh, uh, reduce the lines of code, and uh, within the short span of the time, you can develop the application. But running and giving the uh, appropriate output is a bit uh, uh, high. It takes a bit 
more time compared with the MapReduce. The reason is pretty simple. Uh, MapReduce uh, directly after running, uh, if you submit the job in, term, in terms of MapReduce, it need not convert anything because it is a framework, it directly executes the things. But whereas in case of uh, uh, Hive, uh, whichever the Hive jobs you are running or submitting, those things should be converted into the MapReduce. So your Hive job, your Hive query must be converted into the MapReduce and then only it is going to execute. Okay, so definitely compared with MapReduce, it is one step behind actually. Uh, launching of the Hive job, conversion of the job into the MapReduce and then only it is going to give the outcome. So that is the uh, understanding. Click on this uh, India. So just uh, we are uh, having no no tables so that it is not showing anything. Now, uh, just to uh, see here, friends, we are having dashboards, scheduler, and as well as editor. In this editor, we are having Hive editor actually. Okay, multiple editors are there, but our interest is uh, currently on Hive. Okay, now you can simply uh, use okay the corresponding uh, database just it is going to you friends okay so use indium so just now uh, indium one obviously uh, it is now pointing to our uh, uh, indium database okay so that means uh, uh, even in other kind of the things also uh, now control l just i can mention that uh, in indium one now Show tables. Of course, it, it shows empty records because we don't have any tables so far. Okay, so immediately uh, the advantage here is, friends, uh, after running of each and every query, it is uh, picking up the time taken also. How much time it has taken? All these kind of the conventions. So in the job submissions, and if you want to uh, perform some kind of the estimation of the uh, time all those kind of the uh, requirements, you can easily perform that, okay? Now, before launching, uh, you know, before talking about uh, uh, the appropriate uh, functionalities of the Hive, uh, I'm having something for you guys, because Hive, of course, you pretty know, uh, started at Facebook, and uh, uh, these kind of the conventions, once you uh, observe the Facebook kind of the usage, uh, um, uh, the important point is Facebook uh, is having some kind of the uh, trouble at that time. Okay, so what is the trouble and uh, uh, how they are handling that particular thing? Let me uh, talk in a while. So uh, that particular Facebook uh, is having some issues with uh, data processing. Okay, that is the first uh, thing we need to observe. The next aspect is uh, um, a Facebook problem with uh, uh, Hadoop. Uh, and uh, all these kind of other things. Let me copy the architecture, guys. Then we'll straight away start with uh, uh, other examples and uh, high usage at uh, Walmart. Let me pick that diagram also before launching the comments of uh, uh, high and on. Just tell me, guys. Just I'm fetching some information for us. So it uh, makes our life easier. Uh, and of course, believe me, uh, these kind of uh, high worries and all uh, very easy to understand. Okay, compared with the map ready orientation, no, has nothing. Okay, let us get started with uh, the orientation of uh, uh, high. Okay, because high started at uh, Facebook, still high is a, a major. Uh, contributor of uh, uh, Facebook job submissions and all. Now, if you uh, refer these kind of things, friends, earlier, um, data was collected by nightly cron jobs into Oracle DB. Okay. And thereafter, ETL via hand-coded Python. Okay, just uh, how it is uh, performing the activity is, uh, uh, ETL processing means uh, just uh, whatever the data I'm having, First, I have to extract that particular data. And thereafter, we need to transform that according to our requirement. And finally, we are going to load the data. So here, if you observe, uh, we are having uh, various, uh, scribe means uh, the log file processing, a scribe server. 
and mysql of course the relational uh, uh, data all these things this is the log file content we are having some uh, relational model with okay just we are going to collect that information into the server and which finally store into the oracle db and that like that they maintains okay we don't have any answer for that why here they are using mysql and uh, now oracle mysql all these things are uh, under the umbrella of oracle only so grew from 10 to some gb of the data to up to 1 tb in 20 minutes of the time uh, we have seen in the beginning of the session how facebook is generating the data so uh, these docs log files and mysql data loaded to the hdfs their idea is uh, because hdfs provide uh, uh, some big data storage in the distributed format so they uh, on top of that they can run the map reduce jobs okay so once the data is available with hdfs we have no objection to run the map reduce jobs because map reduce jobs or map reduce is aware of the hadoop distributed file system okay that's how they uh, done this jobs earlier in around 2007 something like that but uh, they realized that uh, some of the components were missing of course while if you are start doing the things you should uh, know the difficulties and you should face some kind of the complexities and you always uh, refer is there any other way or is there any other tool so as to compensate this particular uh, complexity without any uh, hassle so then they realized that uh, command line interface for the end users maybe you know guys uh, suppose if i want to perform some kind of the activities okay uh, maybe uh, i want to know how many members were there from uh, pune or how many members were there from bangalore how many are there from chennai or how many are there from uh, hyderabad like that uh, i want to perform some uh, analysis of the data i want to get some kind of the data. then definitely users will be uh, given some interface and there only uh, they can access and uh, uh, get to know the content okay but that is not there and ad hoc query supporting without writing full map reducer this is the major important thing friends because whatever i said earlier uh, maybe i want to pick up the data from various locations in all the cases uh, you have to design your uh, map reducer also okay, you have to run and submit and you know the pain behind uh, uh, running of that map reducer and uh, preparing the map reducer of course sir. uh though you are not designing python or java but still uh, uh submission also needs some knowledge friends because i need to get the jar file and i have to see that uh, hadoop streaming is available or not and we should uh, submit the job uh, maybe in terms of uh, java or python whichever the means that also they face in some kind of the difficulties in the preparing of the ad hoc queries and all most important thing guys uh, we are all habituated with the schema information schema is nothing but the overall design of the db or um, the appropriate uh, storage so the schema information is also not uh, exactly available to the members uh, developers also it is not available and of course uh, we not we are not requiring anything related to facebook schema and all but at least for the developers uh, uh, they should give the schema so as to design the application in a better way so they they face some kind of the issues uh, at the time friends okay so the point here is they are uh, picking up the jobs from both uh, scribe uh, log files and as well as the relational model and they need to apply they need to store those things into the hadoop distributed file system and on top of that they should uh, run the map reduce jobs for the sake of uh, analyzing the data uh, uh, of course obviously your understanding is that definitely they are uh, performing the batch batch processing it is understood friends like hadoop hive uh, pig latin scope or flow all these are the batch processing tools uh, without any deviation uh, because hadoop uh, basically supports the um, this thing actually uh, the batch processing so in a way all the ecosystem tools also uh, running through the batch mode only okay now coming to the other uh, observation you may ask me why i need to use hive i am pretty happy with the uh, history of it and of course uh, even in map reduce one or map reduce two by java or python uh, team is going to uh, support the 
support me with the by supplying the source code and all then i i can run that practical i don't see any difficulty or any thing uh, but uh, here the problem is guys uh, as i said earlier schema information and as well as uh, that uh, and a half query and as well as some kind of the interface so as to interact with the uh, hive uh, definitely you should uh, have a look on that now i i picked up one example from walmart actually this is a bigger uh, store mm, yeah, multinational uh, retail corporate that operates a chain of hypermarkets um uh, various department store and grocery all these kind of things are available now they are uh, having certain uh, requirement things uh, they have to store the data and of course they should understand the uh pulse of the customers so a market basket analysis or something like that thing so now you uh, see here how these guys are uh, picking up the data uh, one of the uh, data source used by walmart is uh, hive and of course they themselves they are having some kind of uh, interface walmart uh, uh, marketplace um and of course they are having pretty uh, simple apps also guys if you are aware of that what they does is uh, suppose i am friend of balam and uh, of course uh, we both are friends and they uh, with the by seeing the interaction between us okay what they does is this app does is uh, maybe i am sending some messages to bala and bala is uh, sending some messages to me okay in that case they Uh, understand uh, the kind of the communication between these members they can suggest some kind of the birthday gifts okay so these guys because maybe we are uh, a typical teammates and we are having uh, a, a simple kind of the communication uh, accordingly this app is suggesting some kind of uh, a gift to bala whereas uh, in between uh, me And as well as uh, Harish, we are having some strong bonding. Maybe assume that. So strong friendship. So in that case, uh, just a uh, higher uh, price or somewhat bigger price compared with the earlier situation. So uh, the way they are understanding the customers is uh, uh, based on the data and based on the communication we are making. Okay, all these kind of the things are taking place. So. here uh, this walmart is not a simple thing guys so it is uh, going to store uh, and uh, any other uh, maybe it is uh, some informatica or whatever the etl tool there are so they are, they are uh, collecting all this information and they are placing them into a storage from that they they can generate the uh, report actually maybe with the cognos or business Uh, this uh, uh, this thing is there, na? Uh, Cognos is most frequently used kind of business objects in there. We go uh, based on that, and sometimes uh, some data mining tools like uh, rarely, but still they are using. And of course, some Looker or Excel or some other kind of the tools they can make use. So the high usage uh, why I am pulling to this thing is that it's not uh, only meant for the Facebook analysis or. Uh, Uh, facebook kind of these tools but but uh, this is providing us uh, a plenty of uh, opportunities uh, to work and process now one more uh, important point i want to notify here uh, we were not we have not seen up to the complete uh, hadoop ecosystem strength in that uh, if you observe the uh, meaning of this uh, hadoop ecosystem and how it is doing let us uh, uh, show this it provides the storage mechanism It provides the uh, processing aspect. Um, it is giving us some kind of uh, ETL processing and uh, simple analysis of the data. Simple analysis of the data, and then it is providing us with uh, um, processing of. That means import of, import or export of. Uh, relational data and uh, working with uh, 
unstructured or semi structured data and it is providing some kind of uh, uh, this cluster management and it is providing some kind of uh, monitoring monitoring of all the tools or all the ecosystem kind of now let us have a discussion of individual things friends the storage aspect uh, just now we have seen uh, the hadoop distributed file system is a distributed uh, file system mechanism coming to the processing uh, basic processing related to hadoop ecosystem is the map reduce no matter whether you are running on uh, scoop whether you are using the uh, hive or pig latin or whichever ultimately the processing must be turned into the uh, map reduce orientation now etl processing so this particular etl processing is available in the query language which is nothing but hive of course current topic so your hive is a, a kind of the etl processing where it is providing uh, some kind of the queries uh, some of the queries we have seen create database show database show table all these kind of the things uh, and let to see uh, some of the queries uh, related to hive and simple analysis tool uh, which is of course uh, uh, pig latin which is for the sake of heavy customizations are there can in pig latin uh, because if you observe in generally uh, if i am talking about the java kind of the implementation of the map reduce uh, your joins and sorting and all these kind of the things uh, very much we are using in our applications to sort out or group by or some kind of uh, um, uh, join of operations and all uh, whereas in java while implementing even uh, at times in python also we have to divide we have to design the entire uh, a uh, query with respect to our requirements even joins also sortings uh, all these kind of the custom there is no customization kind of thing. so pig latin uh, uh, supports many customizations such as sorting and as well as reverse of the data and as well as joins okay union okay all these kind of the customizations are there and uh, there is some uh, important points 200 lines of uh, uh, java code uh, can be written in 10 lines of pig code it shows the height of uh, uh, the pig latin <laughs> you see okay so 200 lines of java code can be written in 10 lines of the pig latin so that is the analogy and uh, for the sake of analysis uh, with the help of the customizations you can do that sir. The most important thing guys uh, still many companies were uh, happy with uh, mysql oracle and all these relational models and if i want to perform any import or export uh, activities then uh, maybe i am having some mysql tables and i want to pull that information into the hadoop distributed file system then the best uh, tool is scoop actually so scoop is a tool uh, where you can uh, uh, pick up the data from relational model and you can place that into the hadoop distributed file system once your data is available in hcs you can perform some analysis all those kind of things you can do in a simple way along with that uh, we are having uh, uh, maybe uh, twitter analytics and all those kind of things uh, some feeds i am having i have to fetch and place in the hadoop distributed file system it is definitely unstructured format feeds are not having any structured or something like that at least definitely not uh, relational thing so for that time having the tool called flume so flume is a tool where it is uh, picking up the semi structured or unstructured data and that data will be placed into the hcfs for the sake of processing and all. and we pretty know that this cluster management is yaar and as well as the monitoring tool is nothing but zoo keeper okay and moreover one more convention is there guys uh, then no sql databases okay the hbase of course uh, which is a placeholder uh, related to that so now you observe the tool set uh, related to this thing very first thing is the hadoop distributed file system the second aspect is uh, map reduce 
and third thing is uh, of course guys add and your fourth one is uh, high fifth aspect is for the etl uh, for the processing of the data analytics big uh, uh, latin and we will be having the scoop for the sake of uh, uh, storing the data uh, for the sake of getting the relational model into hdfs and to perform the unstructured data processing we are having the actually this is flum 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 we are having and uh, we are having some uh, no sql of course best example hbase Space. and uh, then uh, monitoring agent which is the zookeeper okay mm. and these, these tools more or less uh, some other are there like uh, kafka all those kind of things are there but uh, still whatever the scope uh, we are talking i am uh, limiting to that uh, mode so see this is the entire uh, ecosystem toolkit friends actually so all these uh, things one common point is there okay one common point is there uh, the first point is the default coded for all the above hadoop ecosystem tools is HDFS. Okay, no? so maybe Hive or Pig Latin or whichever. The default storage is uh, HDFS. Similarly, the second thing is uh, second point is uh, the default processing um, processing that means programming model. For the Apple Hadoop ecosystem tools is map review. Okay, friends, you need to remember one point. Compared with any other tool uh, processing, map review is faster. Okay, MR is uh, faster than. Hive or Pig or whichever. Reason we pretty know because first uh, Hive or Pig Latin uh, 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 scripts should be converted into the map tools. Then only they are going to execute. Okay, that, that is the outset uh, and that is the understanding. Okay, now before launching, uh, already we have launched. If you are talking about the Hive, uh, already we have seen some of the properties ETL, which is uh, having some Hive query language. And to launch that particular uh, hive, okay, just uh, within the uh, web shell, okay, so whatever the web shell I'm having, just I need to give the hive. After giving this, just it is providing a prompt, hive prompt. Here uh, you can uh, give that uh, show databases. And then uh, if you want to enter into a specific database, use database. Uh, whatever the database name you want. And to create the database, uh, just you can use the create database. Uh, just you can give this the name. And uh, after creation of the database, you can use that. Okay. And uh, once that database is created, maybe if I want to get the tables existing, First time it may not have any table, so table. So only these this much we have seen. Okay. But before going to learn other things, okay. So like uh, how to create a table and how to perform the activities. Of course, I need to have some input data for us for that. And uh, uh, that input data I'll be uh, taking from uh, uh, local machine uh, with the help of the WinSCP. I can post the data into my target that is LFS. Okay, all these kind of the things. Oh, uh, just we are left with a uh, uh, few minutes. Uh, before that, uh, what I want to do is I want to give you some uh, kind of the insights. 
what exactly high is. Okay, so for that particular thing, just let me pick up that uh, information, guys. Uh, some few points were there, so as to notify. This particular high provides some set of operations for us, and we have to make use of those kind of operations to uh, venture in our applications. Because uh, uh, just like that, uh, I, I may not have the convention of using the high. Let us see the suitability. Okay. Uh, if you see the high, uh, in case of the Hadoop, we see that uh, small elephant uh, symbol, yellow colored stuff. In case of Pig Latin, uh, also there are some emblems given by the uh, designers of Hadoop. Here also uh, in the high, we are having this uh, small thing. <laughs> If you see the integration, so the front end, uh, this entire thing is uh, FDFS and as well as MapReduce. This thing is uh, high query language. Okay, so <laughs> the entire elephant's uh, um, face is uh, fixed on a simple face, actually. <laughs> that is the understanding, and, uh, of course. Okay, so a system for managing and querying structured data built on top of Hadoop. Uh, straightforward course, uh, answer then. Managing and querying. Okay, structured data built on top of the Hadoop. So on top of Hadoop, high is there, that we know. Uh, this is also pretty understood. Like uh, just now we have seen, no matter whether I'm using the high or Pig Latin or whichever, uh, it is ultimately using the uh, map reduce for the sake of execution. Now we are uh, having this uh, HDFS for storage, and there is a little trick uh, how we can make use of LFS, how you can make use of HDFS that I will show. Uh, in case of the MapReduce, uh, we don't have any provision of uh, shifting our uh, um, shifting our uh, access, shifting our data from HDFS to local file system. It is built in actually. MapReduce. Uh, uh, whatever the map to do the assets and has it is running on top of the Hadoop distributed file system. But uh, while you're working with the high, uh, you can either uh, take your data from the local file system or else you can pick up the data into uh, from the Hadoop distributed file. In a both the way, it is supporting that. And moreover, the integration, even in uh, Spark also, uh, we are having the uh, high context frames. Okay. So that means uh, you can extend the repository to other uh, tools. Okay, so this is understood like managing and querying the data uh, uses MapReduce for execution, HDFS for storage. You can easily extend this uh, thing to the other kind of the repositories also. And this is this I can say like this. Uh, there are two kinds of the tables in high high trend. This is very important. Internal table and as well as the external table. Internal in the sense, uh, maybe uh, our team is using that uh, data, and if I am dropping that data, no problem. Only team will suffer, provided if uh, further we need that data. External is not like that. Maybe team one, team two, team three. Uh, this team three is uh, a map reduce team, team two is a Spark team, and team one is a Hadoop, uh, Hadoop team, as you know. Now, uh, all the three teams are using a common table, maybe some data they are using, and they, it will be distributed to T1, T2, and T3. All the, as I said, Hadoop team, Spark team, and MapReduce team. Now, uh, if you drop the appropriate table, it should not affect the all the other teams. For that, we are having the external tables. Okay, external table mechanism is very much helpful. Uh, though you delete the external table, uh, but the metadata remains the same. Uh, such kind of the case study we'll we'll see in the tomorrow session, guys. Okay, so uh, we'll see the internal and external table and repository management is one of the best options in high. And building principles, which are all uh, the most excited parts of high, is uh, SQL on structured data as uh, a data warehousing tool, which is uh, that's why we say it as an ETL kind of thing. Extensibility, MapReduce scripts, language of choice, and rich and user defined, which is very, very important, guys. User defined function. We can write a small code and uh, we can see that uh, with the help of the uh, code, I can run that uh, UDF kind of aspect. 
and they offer interoperability extensible framework to support uh, different files and uh, data formats okay all these kind of the conventions can be observed performance wise uh, time wise we are not talking but uh, there are certain uh, benefit friends like uh, uh, rather than writing the bulk code or complex code i can enjoy the benefits of uh, simple coding okay at the outset we are having uh, that narration okay let me close the discussion with the these are all the key takeaways of today's session uh the key takeaways so initially we started with uh, the discussion related to uh, java mr uh by providing the source code how we are going to export the um, jar file this is one thing second important thing is uh, directly if i am getting the jar file then how do i uh, submit the jar Uh, this is one thing we have seen second important thing is in terms of python uh, only one option we are having uh, with the pretty uh, hadoop streaming kind of aspects uh, i can submit my jobs and third thing um, we observed uh, uh, the distinctions of hdfs1 and uh, hdfs2 along with uh, mapreduce1 mapreduce2 and the fourth important aspect is mr2 discussion all the uh, mapreduce orientation your resource manager uh, node manager all these things and fifth we have seen uh, r running on top of mapreduce running on top of mr2 there are certain other aspects also we have seen some container application master Uh, of course, resource manager remains same, and we are adding the node manager. And thereafter, uh, after identification of these things, uh, add job running. Okay, how that uh, add is uh, running the job? Some eleven step process we have seen. All these kind of the eleven step process. And next thing is that. Uh, uh the other option just we have entered into the uh, facebook issue of uh, running the job um and then uh, of course uh, we started the uh, initial discussion of this uh, hive okay so now just we have seen hive uh, launch and how hive is providing uh, and maybe some uh, simple uh, characteristics we have seen high query language etl all these things and apart from that we have seen some uh, ecosystem tools hadoop ecosystem tools these things we upload and in the next session guys uh, what we'll see is uh, just we'll be having the uh, high concepts uh, in terms of high query language i'll try to cover uh, internal tables creation second important thing is the external table creation and thereafter we'll be seeing the um, partition and uh, concept of the bucketing which is pretty uh, helpful in our project uh, and thereafter um, some kind of uh, inserts of the data from This is a very catchy point, and you can either go with the LFS or HDFS kind of the orientation, um, insert and all. Yeah, and moreover, uh, the manage tables actually. Um, how do I handle the metadata info? All those things. Okay, pretty interesting. Okay, just be uh, you can follow that kind of. In this way, we'll follow. So with that, uh, I just I'll be stopping here, guys. Uh, And however, tomorrow I will go through your uh, challenge. Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, closing has given, and then ah, uh, another closing has given. So many members not uh, listening to me, or what is the problem? So just to, if I am asking, uh, just to give the answers there.
if it's not a fm kind of listening na you should participate and all the things okay so just be attentive and uh, try to give uh, because i i see just you are seeing na one size start means <laughs> even uh, one minute also we are not uh, uh, even me also not taking a free step because the concepts are uh, that much tight things that is the reason so otherwise uh, i could have stopped and uh, bring you to the discussion but uh, uh, however one point friend actually friday however uh, i'll uh, uh, give some kind of uh, three hours uh, mm-hmm. uh, to you so just you can uh, yeah meantime uh, just i'll uh, i'll post some kind of the questions just to uh, tomorrow and day after tomorrow you prepare Uh, until the uh, um, until thursdays until tomorrow at least until how uh, you are going to uh, uh, submit those kind of things 10 to 12 10 to 12 or 10 to 1 okay friday just to prepare and uh, submit the things into the place folder because you need to also recheck okay all the things you need to get i tell you sir uh, tomorrow will be our presentation or Mm, no hari sir just we we'll, uh, see the next monday because next monday we are going to talk about spark actually meantime i thought of uh, covering this uh, five uh, and scoop and then uh, so uh, because i will be tagging you with uh, uh, some other uh, team okay i am waiting for you just you give the names other members also uh, just to share uh, your names uh, Uh, regarding just i'm typing this regarding uh, what is that am and uh, mr2 usage presentation so uh, once i get this thing uh, hari i oh, hope you are ready okay uh, yes, sir. Right, uh, okay. for job rl uh, rl will do one thing just you you uh, tomorrow will allocate uh, before closing the session Okay, just you can uh, last fifteen uh, or how many? How many? How much time you need? Uh, sir, at least thirty uh, to thirty-five minutes uh, because uh-huh. uh, we added all the things uh, as expect. We got uh, the Hadoop, uh, the HDFS, and uh, uh-huh. MapReduce, and uh, explanation about the big data. So, so uh, all it's the a. Uh, yes yes sir our team is uh, uh, getting all the uh, information from the beginning of the start of this Actually, class okay. but it's all right hari no problem because it is it becoming a revision kind of thing definitely yes. okay. okay no no problem so we'll do one thing just what we'll do is tomorrow after 12 10 or after completion of the hive uh, demonstration i'll give the mic to you so you can share so that in a way they can also get the insights of these things right Okay. Yes, sure. Okay. So, Thank uh, you. Some much. other time, uh, I'll give this uh, air and air to 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 some other team. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Okay, man. That's all, guys. And thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. See you back in tomorrow's session. Thank you so much.